Hi guys, this is Charlene with Sweet Pieces by Me, and I just got my paper pumpkin kit, and I'm in love. I, I already know what it's going to look like because I saw a video on it that Stampin' Up! played, and um, sometimes they have a sneak peek, so I got to see that, and I'm going to share it with you. Um, it's so really cute. So if you don't know about Paper Pumpkin, it's a kit, you subscribe to it, um, it's $19.95 a month, and in the kit you get, you, you always get one ink spot, sometimes you'll get two, this is like a mini ink pad, uh, it's felt, and you get a little stamp set, this one is super cute, there's like a little uh, sun for like a sunflower, um, there's like, I think that's the center of it, it's kind of like a two step stamping. Um, this, there's a pumpkin, and I guess this might be like the stripes of the pumpkin, and, um, some sayings, it's got happy Halloween to you, no tricks, just treats, a happy hello to you, and something good to eat. So they kind of have the Halloween, but then if you don't ha you don't really celebrate Halloween, or you don't want to give it as a Halloween treat, you can, um, stamp one of the other sentiments. So I'm just going to set that aside. Um. And this is Old Olive. It's really pretty green. Let me set, set that aside. Go ahead and get my kit out so you can see that. So in your kit, usually you'll have cards. Um, sometimes it's six car uh, eight cards. Sometimes it's like six cards and six tags. Um, you get a really good amount of product. But this one are treat tubes. And if you've never, get that out of the way, super noisy. If you've never seen treat tubes before, oh my gosh, they're so, so cute. And this is hilarious because I don't really have anything to put in them right now. But I'm going to show you how cute they are anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, you do need a D block. This is a size D. Uh, it's a Stampin' Up! block. When you sign up for the kits, you'll get a block. It's a little bit thinner than this. This is a the standard size. You get a thinner block than this, but it comes free in your first kit. It's included. This is the size that all of the stamps will fit on. Sometimes they're a little smaller, sometimes they're very large, but this is the only block you'll need. <clears throat> so I have mine out already, and I'm not going to use my ink spot because I have the full size ink pad. So I, I, well, I save these and I use them as giveaways for if you come to my classes or place orders with me. So I'm going to go ahead and get that open. And let's get this puppy. puppy. It's a puppy. It's not a card kit. It's a puppy. Let's see. Let's get it open without damaging anything. So kind of just go in on this. Stab myself here. Hopefully not. It's just a paper envelope opener, whatever those are called. Okay. I might need some sharp scissors. I actually do have a lovely pair of Stampin' Up! paper snips. So I'm going to get those out. <laughs> that might help. I'm going to just take this plastic off and see what I've got here. I've got some sticky dots. i got some little twine. These are, looks like, adhesive banners. Um, yep, yeah, they look like they are... Or do they just pop out? Oh, they're adhesive. They pop out and they're adhesive. Set those aside. Cute little sunflower and pumpkin tags. Some of these are plain. Um, actually has like a navy blue line, a ring around, an, or outline, and then a gold outline. Oh, cute. Super cute. Little um, cauldrons and cats. Black cats, of course. I really like the cauldron. That's cute. And then these are not sticky. These these you could just punch right out. So here's the kitty cat cauldron. Cute pumpkin. And a gold a gold one. A sunflower. I'm not sure what I want to use yet. Definitely gonna do Halloween treats. I think these will be perfect for the neighbors. So I think I'm going to make those for them. So, 
comes with really simple instructions. Instructions. Stamp the tags. Step two, place the sticker on the tube. Add the tags to the banners with the adhesive dots. Tie your ribbon around it. And of course, fill your treats. Fill with your treats. Super cute. It tells you everything that's included. It tells you also this coordinating Stampin' Up! colors. So we also have basic black, crushed curry is the yellow, the old olive, orange is the pumpkin pie, um, the rich razzleberry um, would be on these, on these strips, and soft suede. Super cute. So I think I'm going to do just a cat, a cat one. I really like the Happy Halloween to you. Super cute. And I'm just going to ink this up in the old olive. And just put that right there. Just apply even pressure. Since it's the photopolymer, you can add, you can hold it there for a little bit longer. You can also get a foam mat to stamp underneath because um, the foam mat helps with the pressure and you'll get a really good stamped image. So you just take your cute little label and just stick it on there. There really isn't a wrong way to do that. So can't really mess that up. <laughs> and then just take one of these little dots. Probably only need one dot. They do give you extras um, sometimes. So if you feel like you need to put two you could do that. Um, I like it kind of like right there. And you can stop and have a piece of chocolate. It's not included, but these are the Dove chocolates. They're so cute. The little pumpkins. I already had some, actually, so I'm good. But So you just do that. And then if I had my treats, I'd go ahead and fill it right now with my treats. And then get out this cute little twine. And sometimes it'll tell you to cut like eight inches or six inches. Um, this one says wrap linen thread ten inches each around the two. So if it tells you ten inches, um, they give you enough to do all of your tubes. So you don't have to worry about running out. If they say use ten inches, use a ten inches because there's plenty on the roll. Okay, I'm just gonna tie that. I'm, I can move the bow when I'm done, so I'm just gonna kind of there. Ta da! It's a little crooked, but we'll just move it around a little bit, tighten it. One side's a little long, so I just snip that off. Good to go. And there's my little treat tube. It's so cute. And I'm just going to continue making all of these until um, they're all done. So thanks for stopping by and watching. And I hope you have a